What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to another Old School Wednesday review. Today we're journeying back to the Wild West theme and taking a look at the Chief's Teepee that set 6746. It had 131 pieces, three minifigures, came out in 1998, and it retailed for 20 USD. Now nowadays, this is going for 217 new or 81 used. That is incredible. Even used, this sets four times what it was going for when it was on shelves. Although you have to adjust for inflation, but you get what I'm saying. It's appreciated a lot. There are reasons why. We're gonna take a look at the good and bad of this model, but enough talk. Let's get right into it. And to kick us off, we'll begin by giving you guys a 360 view of the set. As you can see, there are a number of unique elements that make up this theme. It's part of the reason why I really, really like it. Some of the builds definitely look basic by today's standards. So it's a bit of a mix. That cloth teepee, really, really like that. It's not plastic in case you're wondering. Let's now break it down area by area. And the first thing that we'll take a look at is going to be the horse that's included. And as you can see, there's a lot of detail. Even by today's standards, this would be considered a very detailed horse. There's some of my favorite, basically to come out of the 90s, as far as horses go, or as far as printed pieces, if you want to call this a piece goes. And what's nice about it too, is you can also take out the saddle and just put this blue piece on there if you want to make it like no one's riding him instead of having this big chunk out of the horse which looks a little bit odd <laughs> it's like something bit or took a big bite out of the horse I should say getting into the model the first thing that we'll uh, center on on is going to be some of these shields so you get two different ones and then you also get the medicine man's Bull hat basically. He's not included in this set, but his shield is, which is interesting. And one thing that many of you guys probably are wondering is what's going on inside of this teepee? Well, let's show you guys. You can open it up very easily, like so, to reveal literally just a fireplace. I know many people might have thought there was more going on in there, but that's it. But I mean, you can see a number of different minifigures in there, so that is nice. It basically has a capacity of probably seven or six minifigures. And then they have these tree trunks, which I believe were exclusive to the Wild West theme. There's also a rattlesnake in there. Interesting little piece. We've had this for years, but I think they started back probably with the Wild West theme, if I remember correctly. And you can also put one of the minifigures in there fit in just like so. Getting to the other side, you'll notice there is another fireplace. And along with a little creek, this ladder that goes off to nowhere. Not sure what this is supposed to be, what it's supposed to do. Very odd that there's just a ladder that's just hanging around there. What is cool about this is if you take a look at the totem pole, you can move it out like so, and there's a hidden drinking area for the horse with a rattlesnake in there. Not sure why they included that, but it is a nice little play feature. It's probably the only feature in this set. But there is a hidden rattlesnake, so that's probably it. If you're a kid, you can make the rattlesnake pop out and try and bite someone. Overall, pretty decent set. Really like the unique elements that make it up. It is quite basic, but the shields, the teepee, the tree trunk, these awesome cactuses more than make up for how simple this build is. And you could always improve on it if you wanted to. Let's now take a look at the minifigures. And here we have the three minifigures that are included in this set. So in the middle, we have the chief. On the left, we have what I believe is the chief's daughter, along with the Native American archer. The amount of detail on these guys is incredible. You may think that, hey, this came out in the 2020s. Well, no, this came out in the late 90s. And that's what's so crazy about them. The other thing too is they have nose printing which looks kind of odd on a minifigure, but I think it suits them just because they have so much going on, so much printing. Moving to their back torso printing, back face printing. There is none of that. This is still the 90s. There's the detail in case you're wondering what era this is from, but still overall very detailed. Love the 
Chiefs headdress. Looks quite good in my opinion. These along with the UFO minifigures were probably the most detailed ones to come out of the 90s. There was a couple others like Pharaoh Hotep to come out of the Adventures Egypt line. But having this amount of detail was basically unheard of, especially again for the 90s. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Personally, this little settlement has everything you'd want it to have. I mean, you get a teepee, which is cloth. You get a totem pole. Three awesome minifigures, including the chief. The amount of detail on them is also incredible, especially for the 90s, as well as the horse. I mean, all that printing, that's something that we don't even really get nowadays. The build is a little bit lackluster, gonna be honest, but this was the 90s. Things were a little bit more basic back then. Overall, I really like this one. I'm not sure if it's worth 80 bucks. However, if you can get a deal on it, I'd say go out and buy it. But that pretty well does the review. As always, guys, let me know what your personal thoughts are on it. Always interested to hear your guys' thoughts. And and that pretty well does it but if you liked it leave it a thumbs up and uh yeah if you're new to the channel you know definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future wild west reviews or any other old school reviews we do one of them or two of them i'd say every single month and uh, it's one of my favorite series that we have on the channel but that's all i got for you again but thanks again for watching and i'll catch you on the next one